Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the Ad Ezra P10. Friends, we've got another fun, fast cardboard laser project, so let's get cracking. All right, everybody, it is freezing in Michigan, so I'm going to keep this outside time pretty darn fast. First thing I want to do is switch to the Ad Ezra P10. I will connect it in a moment. I just don't want that noise while we're getting started. So first things first, let's click import. I'm going to visit 3D modeling and I want my ball maze version three. This is a project I created in Tinkercad. The whole lesson only takes about 12 minutes and when we're done, we'll have an awesome little cardboard ball maze that we can assemble in minutes. So real quickly, let's check our cuts and layers. We are doing a speed of 400, one pass, and 100% power. I'm going to stick with those numbers, so it's time to fire up the P10. All right, so let's fire that up. Everything is plugged in. Let's find the correct COM port. Every once in a while, that does adjust for me. Bingo, today we are connected on COM port 3. I'm going to use shift nudge to get this out to where you can see it work. A couple shift nudges this way as well. Of course, I do want to remind you there is an awesome kickstand so you can get your height set. I already did cardboard the other day, so I'm just going to roll with it. Of course, we should hit frame to make sure it's going to fit. Ooh. <laughs> I've got that lined up just about as good as I can for this design. Friends, we are going to grab some safety glasses. Let's power up the fan. And let's make something awesome. All right, so as you can see, these cut out really clean. We do not need these inside pieces. That I'm gonna set aside. I do need these three little parts. We can get rid of that. This is one of the bases. This is the top. And we can take this inside and we can continue with assembly. Friends, this is so simple. We're doing tacky glue around the edges. I always like to emphasize less is better than more. Stick it in place with the hole, aiming down at the bottom. Add more glue around that edge. Once again, I'm gonna say it, less is better than more because you wanna be able to play with this pretty darn soon and it dries faster that way. Once you get that one attached, we've got two layers so the ball has somewhere to drop. Once again, we're going to add our glue around those edges. Less is better than more. Once you got your glue, line it up. And friends, it's time to find your game board. Now when you find your game board, make sure you have the end away from the hole. Notice that. And now we're ready to put the edges around. Once again, they are six millimeters so we know that we just go around this edge a little bit stick on number one and around the edge a little bit and then stick on number two make sure you've got your edges all lined up And then we're going to add our little walls. Once again, a tiny bit of glue in the area. Tiny bit of glue. Tiny bit of glue. And then pick which way you want them to aim. 
I'm going to set this one to block that way. So notice I'm putting a little tail out there and just pressing it in. This one will block this way. And then carefully slide the last one into the hole. Friends, you have just made a cardboard marble game. How slick is that? Alrighty friends, so it is the moment of truth. I do not have my six millimeter airsoft pellets at the moment. All I got is a standard BB, but you can see this is how you play the game. <laughs> Except I was a fail. Obviously the goal is to try and get it down in that hole. Let's give it one more shot on camera. See if I can be a little more patient. Not so fast. But the more you play with it, the better you'll get. All right, friends, so there you have it. A fun, fantastic little cardboard project designed in Tinkercad. I have got an iPad version and I've got a version for using a PC. Friends, it's fun, fast, and I think in a classroom setting, it would be absolutely awesome. Of course, friends, I do also want to highlight that the Ad Ezra P10 was absolutely brilliant doing the cutting. Friends, if you want to find out more, of course, there will be a link down in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, don't forget you actually make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.